Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy, where consoles are rapidly becoming a thing of the past because everybody wants to put stuff on PC now. Going the way of the dodo. Which makes me wonder, why are we doing next gen if next gen is just PC? That's what I've been saying, so welcome to the new age. Damn it, we gotta join this guy's world. <laughs> All right, guys, hopefully you enjoy this conversation, and don't forget to go down below and hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, because as is true with all YouTubers, it's got to be something with the algorithm. Only 50% of the people who are checking us out are subscribed to the channel, so we would be hugely honored if you would go hit that subscribe button and become a part of the 50% of people that are subscribed to A Drink of Crazy. Yes. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. So I told you PC was the proper way to go. <laughs> told ya. Told ya. I just, I, 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 mean, I am also so confused. Yeah, one, it but, also you know. costs, yeah, I mean, it's a ridiculous amount of money to build a PC. Um, unless you're just going to go out and buy one of those five or $600 ones that... Well, I mean, you'll still get pretty decent performance, but you won't be able to get the pure experience plus brag, bragging rights and making well, why, everything why look way they, better I, okay so so obviously you brought up you know horizon zero dawn is now going to be ported to pc yes and that's well uh, so, it already is you can well you can, yeah that's yeah, right that's you right, can that's get right. It now and, and a lot of people have been uh, uh i know a lot of people have been wanting that for years but the question is that if every are, are are these companies shooting themselves in the foot with console releases when it comes to pc because pcs are actually getting more affordable they are and uh why keep doing consoles if they're just going to put everything well, on PC? I, this, I don't this, understand this. This ties into a conversation we had not too long ago, too, is I think that where a lot of these companies want to go is they want to go to, like, the uh, the Netflix uh, model, where you don't have a box. You have your computer, and then you subscribe to Sony. You subscribe to Microsoft. You can see Microsoft pushing this real hard with their Game Pass. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that Sony, and I think this might actually be a direct response to the Game Pass, saying that they want more of their first parties on PC... I, I do, uh, you do still have a lot of people out there that are saying, I like the physical disc. I like having that physical thing in my hands that I know if oh, I, I put prefer it in, when it's going to work. Too. You know, and that's one of those things that is, is rapidly becoming just a thing of the past is being able to just put a game in and it just works. No updates, no nothing. I yeah. Mean, well, that's... neither one of these consoles, the PS4, or the Xbox One, neither one of this generation do that either. I mean, you put in a disc and it takes an hour for it to. You know, download, then install, then download the update, and then install the update, and then maybe you've got to do some sort of syncing. Yeah, and I, I just wonder. I mean, what, what, what is the purpose of putting everything on PC? Um, well, outside performance. Of, I mean, well, not for these companies. Outside of a quick cash grab. Well, I because think what, not everybody has. I, I, I think I think what they're looking at is they're looking at the PC market as almost like an other, right? Like, you've got the console buyers who tend to just buy consoles. They're not going to be your hardcore enthusiast. Mm -hmm. You talk to them about, they understand frame rate and resolution, but they don't care that much. Right. They want a box. They want that to be the game box, and they want the game box to play the game. Right. Then you got people like me that's who... Me. That's me. That's, that's me. Then you got people like me who sit there and go, no, 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 no. But Because if I sit there and I overclock this processor, and then I tweak my GPU settings just a little bit, and then I throw on some anti-aliasing and do this little bit of a filter trick with this and that... All of a sudden, it looks really, really All good. All of a sudden, 15 hours of his 30 hours of gameplay is just tweaking settings. Almost like you're there. <laughs> it's almost like you're there. No, seriously. When I first booted up RDR2, that's all I did is I just sat there just benchmarking. Oh, my God. That sounds exhausting. But No, it's fun. No. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah, that's the word for it. No, um, you just rack everything out, and then you just sit there and you, you know, dial back well, things until so, you get so the So obviously, you Horizon Zero Dawn is now going is now on on PC, and now uh, PS4 is taking a note from Microsoft, which is, is yeah, weird. Sony, yeah, Sony that they they want to figure out how to go into the future by just putting more of their games on. So PC. So I wonder if that means things like Last of Us, Uncharted, you know, God of War. What does that mean for the console? Uh, it means that if you can afford a PC, you probably don't buy a console. To be totally Are, honest, like, why why would I so, buy a PS5 so it, if I can get the exclusives on PC? Now, so does this mean that do, we're about to see the end of the console? Will this be our last uh, every, console? Everybody has said for the la since the 360 that this is the last console generation PC will just take it over, and it never happens. Because the problem with a console, or I guess the benefit of a console, is, is that they do offer a really good performance for price mm -hmm. balance. Right. You know, you get a box that does pretty good 
for pretty cheap. Yeah. You know, because we've talked about it before. I mean, if you want to, you know, just, you know, upper tier gaming PC, you're looking at anywhere to fifteen to twenty five hundred dollars, depending on how upper tier is upper tier. Right. If you want something that'll compete with uh, the current gen consoles, you're probably looking at anywhere from six to eight. Which is current gen console prices anyway. Yeah. And, you know, the six to eight includes things like monitor operating system, like it's truly ground up. Right. You know, the, if you already had the monitor, the operating li- system license and all that, you could maybe get away with 450. Right. Four, 450. But that's still a console right there. Yeah, no, that is that is still and a, a heck of a lot less setup. The well, I mean, the console, you just plug it into your TV. Yeah. Right? Whereas with a computer, if you build a computer from scratch, you have to, you know, one, build it two plug it in. Three, install Windows. Four, install all the drivers. Five, download all and install all your games. Six, install any updates. And so you might get to, you build the thing on Tuesday, you might get to play by Thursday. My, Depending on your schedule. Again here, they just I, I wonder why are they why are they still pushing all these consoles, especially if it seems like they're saying, well, we're going to just put everything I, on yeah, PC. Because is, I, have noticed a, I, I have noticed an uptick in PC gaming. I, I think it's this. I think that the, and this is kind of the point I was driving at, is that they're looking at PC as kind of the, uh, they're, they're kind of like Convoy when it comes to cars. They're enthusiasts. They're not really the, you know, buy a Honda and drive it for 15 years type. Right. And so, you know, they're looking at this as this like elite niche who they sit there and they go, yeah, they'll wait and they'll pay maybe even a little extra for better performance. You know, they want that, you know, 60 FPS or more. They want those higher, you know, uh, higher resolution textures, the better lighting, the ray tracing, all that. And it's always this kind of like staircase, right? You know, PC just kind of sits there and does this line, but consoles because they, you know, staircase. Yeah, they, yeah. And um, so are they trying to go for that kind of enthusiast market? You know, the people who sat there and tried to figure out how to make crisis work back in the days. Right. You know, and... um, I, I don't see it, but I've wondered this too. Are they going to cannibalize their own market? Like, I know myself, you know, if I'm staring at, you know, Sony and Microsoft releasing everything simultaneously on PC, I'm not buying a box. I'm buying a new graphics card. And that's exactly what I'm wondering is why put all this money and in R&D into these new boxes, at least for this generation, if this is where they're going. Somewhere, somehow, and from some marketing research, whatever, they still think that there's a market for the plug and play box. Well, and I think that there is, but I think that they're, I, I think that they're marketing, they're they're marketing themselves out of a market. Like, that's just what it seems like to me. It de- like they're they're just marketing themselves out of a market. Well, and this also ties back into what I was saying. I really do think that consoles are going to start fading away, and we're going to see that subscription based, cloud based service. That. I don't want that. Oh, I don't want it either. Because then all of a sudden your game just isn't supported anymore. And it's like, but I paid $60 for it. Well, what it'd be, that it'd be a subscription service. It'd be like Netflix. You subscribe to Sony and then what their library is at that time is what you have access to. What sucks about that is if you go, hey, I haven't played this in forever. You go there, I might not be on it anymore. Yeah. There's no preservation. Like I can play games from 1998 right now, mm-hmm. but you know, the service based, no. Right. It's whatever that- the service provider keeps uh on their on their service. Well, that's one of the things that you really do have to look at is that it really is a benefit for the console. I mean, is there are still games now that we can put in and it's like, "Hey, you updates and this that and the other thing, but the fact of the matter is is I mean, we can still play the games." Well, yeah, I mean, that's true with PC as well. I mean, I can still play StarCraft 1. But from 1998. Well, yeah, do you yeah. have a physical copy of that or is it no? Well, yes. Yes. <laughs> But that's one of the things is I that have to as use a, a USB CD drive. But that's yes. one of the things that a lot of people like about consoles is that you you get the console, you buy the disc, it sits next to the console, it looks pretty, you know. Plus the you, fancy cover art, and well, you can yeah. sit there and back when and, we had them, you that, could read the manual. Yeah, yeah the manual. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Games used to come with those. Oh, I know. I remember uh, actually leafing through the manuals. It was great. Wow. Because there'd be some little lore in there, some story, a little bit, you know, previously on. There'd Don't be some to pictures. Press this button. You know, yeah. there'd be a controller diagram and what each button does. And, you know, it wasn't, oh, crap, what button does this? You just go, oh, that's what B does. Okay. Yeah. Uh, some of the really good ones would actually tell you the combos, too. Yeah, right. Especially there'd like be a combo list in the uh-huh. back. Uh-huh. And then a few blank spots for the secret ones that you could figure out yeah. and write them down. Yeah. 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 And, uh, no, and I mean, there's so many, you know, 
lost things by going pure digital. But I do think that's where they want to go eventually. I mean, Sony and Microsoft have put in millions and maybe billions at this point into cloud-based gaming. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, even the discs that you buy so much anymore, some of like Call of Duty. They're more like, like keys. They're, they're mostly just keys. You slide the disc in and then you download the game. The disc just says, hey, download the game. Which, you know, a Blu-ray disc holds, what is it, like 60 gigabytes worth of information, I want to say, maybe 120. So you'd think that you could keep a lot of this on the disc, but... Not with Call of Duty. Well, no, but that's also because the stupid thing is 200 gigs now. Um, it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm legit mama runner. How, 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 how would you even keep that on the cloud? I don't know. Like, and it's not with, getting and smaller. And all user profiles and everything. I mean, that's one of the benefits of having kind of a box is that it's... Well, maybe that's where it is right there. Is if you're a family oriented and you have multiple users, you still buy the console. And if you're, you know, a lonely bastard like yourself <laughs> who only plays by himself well i know like i said you know over mama the runner, internet she, you mama runner she really wants to play call of duty again and i'm like fuck, i gotta go buy a fucking external hard drive now well, like, i know you, you need it it needs its own hard drive yeah it does that game needs its own hard drive and you, you sit there and you go man the storage space and the server farm space i mean you're talking about the youtube but for gaming uh, that's where that's it seems gonna, where they want to go but that's going to take a minute i mean at best, we might have peer-to-peer where you could download the game for a length of time, and then but then it means every time yeah. you want to play a game, you're downloading, what, two, 300 gigabytes worth of stuff? Yeah, well, well, not only, yeah, so you're downloading a game for two, 300 gigabytes, but again, going back to the point that, like, well, what if I want to play this game that's not supported anymore? Well, indeed, but well, that, how do I that, do you that? run into issues with that even now, but, you know, as because, you know, PS4 is not backwards compatible with PS3. Oh, I know. That's why you saw so many re-releases. No, I know. Yeah. I know. Um, which is actually one of the things that I'm very excited about, about just the Xbox Series X is that it goes all the way back to Gen 1. I could toss in Fable. I could toss in, I might track down some old copies of like my need for speeds. That oh, I there you go. Have, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, go back, you know, because that might actually incentivize me to go into the used market and track some of these things down, track these. Oh, they know. don't like the used market, though, because they don't get money from it. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Um, man, I just, but I, no, I just it, no, it, it is, this. it is very interesting because Microsoft being, you know, they made windows, they still make windows, mm-hmm. them kind of muddying, muddying the waters between console and PC makes a degree of sense. It's Microsoft, mm-hmm. but for Sony to do it, that's where I'm starting to raise eyebrows is like, okay, what are you guys doing that? I don't know about why, why are we making a box unless you are truly trying to have you know, your cake and eat it too. You want the console for the, you know, the, but we know the that mainstream th- that just they just want to plug the box in and play. But the game. we know that they don't make money on the boxes. No, they make they money don't. on the software. They make money on the games. Yeah, we've known this forever, which just makes me wonder what, like, are they? It, it really does seem like they're just trying to be like, hey guys, this is gonna be our last go. It it does kind of. Ring it because I mean, bit. think about it. Think about the technology advancements we've had in the last seven years. Yeah, since you know, and in seven to ten years, the technology advancements that we're going to have again, this could be, this 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 could be the last console generation, or it could be one of those. I mean, the next console generation is be like, oh, you buy this thing and you plug it into your computer. Yeah, it's like a Fire Stick or yeah. a Chromecast or something. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, I I just I. I can't see this idea of building, putting all of this R and D and research behind this. I don't know how much R and D their research there is because if you look at what they're building these things out of, they're building it out of PC parts. Yeah, with the AMD chipsets and all yeah. that. Yeah, all they all they're doing is they're buying. Um, it's basically a hybrid GPU CPU, mm-hmm. and it, it's um, a space saving measure. You just because yeah. you know. Those big, um, you know, graphics cards that you see, you know, that look all fancy and whatnot. Some of that is just aesthetic mm-hmm. because the actual graphics card is the, you know, silicone board with all the microchips right. on it. Yeah. You know, but they just cover that up in fancy plastic and LED to make it, you know, look shiny, especially when you have a, you know, clear sided case and it glows and it looks cool. Right. And so that's part of it there. But, you know, with the console, they already have all that. So they hybridize. They basically make a hybrid GPU CPU, but it's AMD. Mm-hmm. It's not proprietary anymore. The last proprietary um, chipset I think was used was the PS3 cell. Because keep in mind, the Xbox 360 ran on a Pentium 3. Heavily modified, but a Pentium 3. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, but I mean, Microsoft's been doing that for ever. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's just... I'm just looking at these consoles just going... Because, again, I, 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 want, I want the Series X. 
But I go, if everything's on PC, because and you and I have talked about building a PC, just video editing. Well, you know, and, between between your runner runner, shout out. Yeah. Um, channel yeah, and, Runner uh, Runner Airsoft if anybody's interested in Airsoft go and uh, check out Runner Runner Airsoft that's my other channel shameless plug over um, a shameless plug but yeah no between editing for that and editing for this and just you know live streams so that we could actually broadcast in 1080 because it's really annoying my internet won't handle it and his computer won't handle it so we're stuck at 720 yeah um, but yeah. no we build him a computer we could actually do it so it, it's been talked about plus I think he just liked the uh the desktop because it helped with you know like picture editing and video and all. Oh that. god, there's you know, there's, there, there's a lot of reasons to have a decent desktop. Well, and I I've never had a decent desktop because up until this point I never needed it. But I guess I mean being a part of my generation, we all just have kind of turned into these. Our hobbies are just this technology based hobbies now. And a lot so, of them, yeah. And so back when I you know when I first you know was buying computers and stuff like that, I never thought I was like two thousand dollars for a computer. Why would you do that? Now I'm just sitting here kind of going like. Two thousand dollars for a computer. It's still expensive, and it still makes me shudder a little bit. But at the same time, like if I want to do my hobbies and not sit here for four days while a video edits, renders, yeah, or renders, sorry, yeah, yeah. It's just like okay, you know, this is a pretty good gameplay. So I, I have about two hours worth of 1080p footage and render. Lights dim. Uh, you know, wah, computer wah, comes wah, 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 wah. Now comes that, up. Should be ready in two to seven days. <laughs> Hey guys, you ain't gonna get video onto YouTube this week. <laughs> um, but you know, well, and that is one thing that I will say this, and I, I think a lot of this is coming from the streaming side of it, is they're starting to realize that why in the world would we do have to put all because because again, any of these consoles that come out have to have that button that you press, and it's an app that you turn on now. But yeah, that record me playing my gameplay so I can upload it to you know www.payattentiontome.com, right? I'm going to make that website. Right. That's everybody on the planet. I have two of them. I have two pay attention to me.coms. They're runner, runner, airsoft, and a drink with crazy. I, I also have two. They're how our audio works and a drink with crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like everybody. And so these, I, they, there's probably a fair amount that people are like, man, if we can just push people into these things that are already handling it, we can just offload some of that development and tech over well, there. Well, I mean, if they truly are trying to move away from the, we're making a box, you know, it sort of thing. It feels like it. Well, it I mean, look at what like look it. at what happened to Sega back in the day after the uh, after the uh, Dreamcast. I loved my Dreamcast. I loved my Dreamcast. Oh, it was a great piece of hardware, but the problem was is it didn't it have the software. Powerful and it Sega was powerful and Sega blew a lot of their budget always making a new box. And so Sega said, you know what, we're done. We're just going to publish on those guys. Yeah, and it's, so they might be looking at the same thing here, where it's just we're done. It's too expensive. It's not worth it. We can't keep up with the hardware race. So we're just going to say, you know, subscription. Or we're just going to publish on PC and go through something like Steam. Man, I just... I I do know that consoles will die eventually. Well, they... Whether uh, this is the last... Physical media is dying in general. No, physical media is dying in general. I mean, I I don't go to... When was the last time you bought a record? Oh, I haven't bought CDs in forever. When was the last time you bought a Blu-ray? Last year. That's still been actually, a year. No, actually, here's the deal. I want to go out and buy the Blu-rays of all the movies that I want to watch. Oh, but... M- Mama but, Runner tells me no. Ah, no, but, no, 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 no. Because I don't just want to go out and buy the Blu-ray. No, you you, you want the Holy Fuck I, edition that, it you know, is the size of a, you know, goddamn mm-hmm. book. And has I like want six the $60, discs in there. And she's like, we just can't spend $60 on a movie. I'm like, but, but... And it but. basically tells you how they, you know, it's everything from the casting calls to how they made, you know... You know, something you know, work in the movie, and they actually hand draw the CG. If I had the money for it, if I had the money for it, I would do it every freaking time. And and so, you know, we actually have a video on that about how we, you know, he wanted to sell me that idea on games. So go check that out. Yeah, put that Um, link in the description. You suck at putting links in descriptions. Oh, hey, I should totally do that. (laughs) Yeah, I knew I was forgetting something. On like three videos. No, on like all of them. (laughs) On like all of them. I just trust the end screen today. I'm sorry. No. Um, no. Uh, no, it's just one of those things. Guys, but, sorry. This is just a really complicated topic to talk about because, you know, even well, Sony's we're, we're, going We're basically PC. trying to guess at what their motivations are. And, you know, like I said, with Microsoft doing it, you kind of go, okay, well, they well, make yeah, Windows. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know so some cross-contamination well, I mean, there makes some sense. All, but, doesn't Xbox just function off of a different version of Windows? Well, the Xbox, so, the Xbox One is a modified version of Windows 8 or Windows Surface. But... um. Yes. No. Yeah. Wait. 
eight. It's eight. I think it's eight. It's eight. Yeah. But it's a modified Windows 8 kernel. Which, I mean, that's this. Yeah. That's what we're... We're on Windows 8 right here. Well, technically, Windows 10 is a modified Windows 8 kernel, so... You know, it's updated a lot, but, you know, so it's Windows 10 now, but it's it's running on it's a very similar yeah. architecture to 8. Hey, guys, you know how you didn't like 8? Yeah, so go to Windows 10. Looks like 95. <laughs> no, that's Halo Infinite. Hey, guys, Bullshit. you know... We, we, you tell me. You tell me that they were like, oh, they really don't like 8. Let's make it look like... Oh, I'm sorry. It, it was 7. I was going to say... They well, made it, look, it looks like, like 7. Yes, it does look like 7. That I'll agree with. Yeah. Sorry. Um, but, no, the... Uh, no, it, it's like Halo Infinite. It's, you know, hey, guys, you know, we really want to get you at 4K60, so all the textures look like they're from Marathon. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. I, I'm so confused at this. Why Why is Sony going for the PC route? So very confused. I just don't understand. I've got a few theories, which we've talked about, but that's all they are. Yeah, that's. I, it just makes it so weird. So what do you guys think? Um, are we going to see console generations die this generation, or do we get one more in the next seven to ten years? We might get one more, maybe. Let us know. What do you guys think down below? Are you guys just, uh, screw you console players, I'm PC Master Race all the way? Are you guys just like, yeah, yeah that's him. Are you guys just like, hey man, I'm a dude that plays on everything, or you're like, dude, I basically... Actually, I really am the play on everything guy. Yeah, yeah, he is the play on everything guy. Or are you the guy that's just like, hey man, I just picked the console I think is going to have the best games, and that's the one that I just run with, you know? And if they give me a reason they give well, me a reason. Well, if you only have the money like, for one. What do you there. think? Comment down below. Let us know. How do you guys game? What do you like in gaming? What do you think about this? Is everything just going to get pushed to PC in the cloud? Let us know because we're very, very confused in, in this right now. So Yeah, no, it's very strange. I never thought I'd see Sony do this. This was Actually, weird. That, that was You surprising. can already buy Beyond Two Souls, which was uh, the Quantic Dream game, on PC right now. It was a PS3 exclusive. It is on PC right now. <sighs> strange times, man. Strange it's times. weird. It's strange really weird. Times. You know, we got the Rona. We got Sony turning into a PC thing. Ugh, strange times. Strange times. Well, Sony's, it, Sony's becoming PC. Xbox looks like, you know, they're going to screw the pooch on Halo. And uh, between, you know, the world events and politics and social media and all that, I just, you know what? I, I just want to play some games. Can I just play some games? Only if we support them on our server. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching A Drink With Crazy. We hope to see you here next time. And until then, cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.